Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to look what this machine is doing. This is actually something super cool. It is going to be used at the aerospace. We are actually using material, we're using lasers, we're melting stuff. Tim, tell me all about this machine. All about it, yes. Yeah. You summarized it pretty well. We have a metal 3D printer here. It works in principle similar to an FDM printer in the sense that we are emitting met metal tracks out of our nozzle and by moving our process set we can print from the tracks surfaces and from uh, layers and from the layers volumes what's happening here we have a laser coming vertically downwards yeah. and powder getting blown out of the nozzle in a cone shape focused into the laser spot okay so and instead of filament that's getting molten through the nozzle you're adding it on the side and the laser is just that's slamming it, it on exactly. the previous layer exactly then we move around and out come these yeah big volume parts that we can print on our machine here. So for this machine, how big can you actually go? We can do 900 millimeter times 700 times 700. So that's a, quite a big pretty machine, tall boy. Actually. Yes, yeah. exactly. So I can also see there is an arm in the middle. What's the purpose of the arm? So this is our rotary work head. It has yeah. two rotary axes, B and C, and can spin and swivel around which so it's basically us. doing all sorts of shapes exactly. while the nozzle is doing its thing and then you get yes. special designs yeah, like it this it allows us to print overhangs to print 90 degree edges yeah and to be able to print support structure free ah okay so instead of using support you are exactly. just tilting the uh, material and you do it that way correct so it's much more efficient yes cool now big question that people are probably going to have the price yeah price um we are speaking of a price range starting from 700,000 euros up to 1.4 million euros, depending Ooh. on the configuration. You yeah. have many options to choose from, many additional modules to put in here, but that's then the, the range. Yeah. Which so this puppy is staying here. <laughs> <laughs> now, I already told you, it's probably going to get used a lot for the uh, aerospace, the shuttles. What is the other case that we can use it for? Is it also used for car parts or other things? So in general, it's about repairing parts, modifying parts and applying functional coatings. So then you're not only printing new stuff, you're exactly. also repairing stuff. Exactly. That's what makes our technology, one of the strengths of our technologies. In terms of then the industry, like uh, aerospace is, yeah. is one big interest. For the repair and modification, we are talking about dye and mold. Yeah? So plastic injection molding companies that have many dye inserts, many tools, yeah. they have often worn out tools, damaged yeah. edges, and we can, with our technology, instead of throwing away what is worn, we can yeah. repair it, refurbish it, and then um, bring it back into production. This is super cool. So we are not wasting filament or uh, powder on the support material. You can uh, actually repair everything you print. So this is super sustainable. Exactly. That's our one of the benefits of the, the AM technology promises. Yes. Now, what are the materials that you can use in this chamber? So we can basically process any weldable material. So stainless steels, tool steels, all kinds of steels. With our machine, we have an inert chamber, which allows us to purge the whole chamber with argon gas, with inert right. gas. Yeah. And this then makes us able to print titanium, aluminum as well. Yeah. Where it gets, well, Possible are also copper alloys, but printing pure copper, that's challenging on our machines. Yeah, so it's probably going to be a blend, uh, a copper blend exactly, instead of pure exactly. copper. Yeah. So you're just purging all the air out of the system, replacing it with a gas that is not going to react with the just welded surface. Yes, correct. So you get a more pure outcome exactly, out of this machine. Exactly. Super cool. Now, uh, Makino, where are you from? Are you a German company? Yes. We are not a German company. We are from Japan. Um, Makino, a global milling machine company with, let's say, core business milling and um, yeah. electrical discharge machining. And our Makino Asia branch, located in Singapore, has started developing our AM machines two years ago. So the production and development of these machines comes from Singapore. It is really cool to see that you are using stuff we can see at the uh, automated CNC milling. So we can see a door sliding out, we can <laughs> see a uh, tool changing going on. So this is a full hands-off experience right now. Just push a button and you can let it go. That's Am I right? True. That's true. If our machine, one of the unique features of our technology here is that we have automated all steps of the process set up, which means the machine operator must just press one button, the machine calibrates itself, it configures itself, 
and yeah. there is no more manual tweaking around, yeah. no more manual calibration required. How do you deal with failed prints, let's call it? If a print fails, that can happen. There is, it is possible in some cases to recover it. Yeah. You can recover it by milling away the defect, the location where it failed. So you take it out of our AM machine, bring yeah. it to our milling machine, you mill away the defect, then you can continue, add new material, recover the damaged right. location. And that's yeah one way of, of us to, to... Because I can imagine that if, because some sort of reason, the nozzle or the, the way the, the powder is reaching the laser, if it clogs up, then you have a big problem. That's true, but that's, let's say, where on this machine our automation features come into play. We are able to detect the nozzle condition to see if it is getting dirty, if it is getting clogged, okay. if it has a defect. And if it has a defect, we have an automated tool changer yeah. to replace the nozzles. So before it really comes to a defect that yeah. is not repairable, we just replace the nozzle and continue all with right. a fresh nozzle. So you have covered all bases that's to get our, it as successful dream, as possible. Our, our vision yeah. to be able to fully automate this and make yeah. this robust, documented, and foolproof. Yeah. Are you using some kind of a camera system to yes. check things? Yes. We have a lot of integrated sensors. We have a camera to measure the, to monitor the laser spot, the melt pool in the process. Wow. We have a pyrometer to measure the melt pool temperature. We have sensors to measure the powder mass flow, the shielding gas. So basically, everything here is monitored. It yeah. gets locked by our machine, gets money, uh, gets reported. Yeah. So in the end, you get like a PDF version of your part, yeah. and it tells you all good or all not good. Because the last thing you want is have the same experience as we do with the cheap uh, consumer level printers. <laughs> if it fails, it basically means that you throw it away and yeah, you have true. to start over again. So I can imagine that on an industrial level, these things need to be sorted. Exactly. These are the pain points that we want to work on, we want to solve, you know, which the, like the industry can't accept that we have like high wear, high waste yeah. rates. It must be quality and, and reliable. All right, Tim. I'm going to thank you very much for your thank explanation. You very much for visiting us. But before you go, there is also going to be a giveaway by the end of the year. We are going to give away resins. We are going to give away filaments, even this dryer box and some coupons from PCBWay. So if you are interested, follow the link down below and watch the live stream at the end of the year to see if you have won those prizes. It's going to be very casual with some beers or a bit of rum and turn on the notifications. Then I also want to thank Zhang He for inviting me and keep supporting the channel like they do and also my wife for filming everything you have seen from Formnext and obviously you guys and the members of the channel for your continued support so we can do crazy stuff like visiting Formnext. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.